Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com. Let's talk today a little bit more about Invisalign IPE or the uh, Invisalign Palatal Expander. Let me show you a picture. So it looks like this. This is it. It's pretty tight. So I have a lot of content on IPE already in my YouTube channel. You can go to my Invisalign playlist or it's all in my phase one playlist if you want to access it. But there's been some changes and some improvements over the past few months. And as I take more courses and as I talk to more people and as I get more experience with it, um, my suggestions are gonna change. So my suggestion is to go through the IPE content in my YouTube channel. You can search by keyword IPE. You can also take the courses that Invisalign offers. I think they offer like last time I checked, three hours and 17 minutes of IPE education. Take that. Those are the official courses. That's how I've learned is taking their courses and then doing some work as well, talking to more people, asking more questions. So take those three hours of courses that Invisalign has to offer. I'm not sure if there's CE with them or not. I can't remember, but let's do that. And then take a look at the IPE content I have in my YouTube channel. Remember, their opinions have changed over time. As I've started reading more literature and getting more hands-on experience, it's going to change. Let's talk a little bit about the IPE and how that was developed. Now remember, the IPE is literally like it was made from, you know, a palatal expander, a regular palatal expander, which is basically this. There's your palatal expanders, right? Palatal expanders originally had um, a keyhole. I mean, we still have those. They're very cheap. You can get a Palo Expander for $100 to $150, maybe a little bit more if you want 3D printed. These are 3D printed. These are CAD CAM. There's also your traditional ones, which are made with bands, which are soldered. You do not have to buy the bands. All you have to do is send the scan to any ortho lab, and they will make you a regular Palo Expander. Or you can ask for a 3D printed Palo Expander, which is not this one. This one, 3D printed. What's the difference between 3D printed and not 3D printed? Actually, this one's 3D printed too. Um, the difference between regular 3D printed and not 3D printed is that it is a 3D printed model. And then from there, the everything is 3D printed metal onto the model as opposed to fitting one of like 50 different sizes or 35 different sizes of bands and finding the right band to fit. That's an analog way. That is how most labs do it, but you can ask for 3D printed. 3D printed a little bit more, way better fit, way less likely to have decay, uh, fit issues, breaking issues. You should always pick 3D printed. It's just, you're not gonna put spacers in because it just drops down like an onlay. I mean, it's a no brainer to me. Why would you wanna do bands which could have more um, gaps for plaque and um, food you know, traps and stuff like that, bacteria to hold, more fit issues, more rocking issues when you can have 3D printed, duh. It's a no brainer for an extra 50 to $70. I don't know exactly how much it is, but that seems to be about the difference through the 3D printed. But, you know, in addition, if you'd rather go ahead and do a regular IPE, the Invisalign's brand, this is also 3D printed. This is 3D printed removable, not fixed. That means, but it has to stay in 24 seven. That is the key. You must eat with it in or it does not work well. And that is one thing that has, well, I've always said that, but I don't know how well it was um, encouraged until I've been taking the courses now. And it's like, no, if you do not eat with it, in, it does not turn out well. And it's tricky to eat with the sucker in. Not everyone's going to do it. I think that's the hardest point. So I think if you're really struggling to eat with it in, it might be better to do the 3D printed. But in any case, I'm a big fan of this. This is not cheap. The benefit of doing the IPE as opposed to a 3D printed palatal expander, um, obviously price is not a benefit because it's like four or five, six times the price to do this instead of this. But if this were to break, you're not gonna get it for free. You know, you're gonna have to pay for another one less likely to break because the 3D printed still can break if the patient's eating rocks or, or eating things they shouldn't eat, okay? Hard to, generally when metal breaks, unless I catch them doing something, I'm gonna eat the cost. They're not gonna eat the cost. Um, so that could be an additional cost for you unless you somehow create some type of crazy compliance agreement, but those always go badly. So I would be very cautious with doing this kind of nasty compliance agreements. I do have some, but in any case, I would be careful. And um, also, sometimes you need more than one expander. Why? Well, you got to look at 
look at all my content I have on Jack Screw. So look up the content on Jack Screw sizes. There's generally sevens, elevens, and nines. As far as I know, there might be some thirteens. Like for example, if you see this, I don't know if it's if it's upside down. That's an eleven, right? You see that? This is a. This doesn't have a number. This number an eight. I guess we got different numbers. Woo! An eight. Okay, that was a nine, nine, okay? So you get the idea. Invisalign goes up to a 12 millimeter, although they're saying you get more than, than you would get with a regular screw. So the nice thing about in, Invisalign is if you ran out, theoretically, if you needed more than 12 millimeters, you could order more. It's all gonna be included. Whatever you need is included, including if things don't fit or you have to get a new filling. So think about all the things that can happen, especially on a very constricted vaulted pallet case it probably is going to be cheaper and easier to do this. Um, that would just be my opinion. If it wasn't like a super severe case, then I think it's going to be cheaper and easier just to do a 3D printed expander. But again, just my thoughts. It really just depends on, um, you know, what the patient and parent is looking for. Invisalign Align Technology is doing an incredible job with their marketing. So if you don't get on that marketing bandwagon and someone comes in and is like, I don't want a key. Okay, you don't want a key? We got two options then. We got this. You know, and, and you can totally, like, I want to throw this out. You should definitely talk to Bonsi Popat because she's the person we consult with when we have questions about insurance. But if you are a network, you should consult with her um, because there are ways of making your additional fees in orthodontics productive, but you have to keep it consistent so they don't get in trouble with insurance. So obviously being out of network is best because then you can charge whatever you want. But um, my suggestion is to maybe make this an upgrade fee, the IPE, as opposed to a traditional key expander, which is the cheapest. But there is a middle option, and I don't have the demo here, although I've done the demo before. So look up my KKE expander, it's not mine, sorry. I just like it, So and I like the team. So KKE is a letter, like KK, and then letter E for elephant. Um, KKE, it stands for Keyless Kellis Expander. And Dr. Kellis was one of my professors. Um, his son is a demo student at Harvard. We're really good friends with the family. And I've um, been talking to him a lot since my son's going to be going to school in Boston. And uh, we've been talking more so about KKE. And we're going to be collabing in the fall and doing a lot of cool stuff together. So I'm super excited. But the KKE Expander is a 3D or not 3D printed, but they prefer 3D printed with a lever, no key, just a button, push a button. There's nobody who cannot push a button. A dog can push a button, a cat can push a button, the kid can push a button, anyone can push a button, right? So take a look at the KKE. It is more like the regular price of an expander, not like uh, the $700 expander, but there's no button. So there shouldn't be a, I mean, there's no key. So it's just a button. Anyone should be able to do it. So take a look at that as an alternative. Again, look at my YouTube channel under KKE or reach out to me if you want to talk to their team. All right. So definitely think that you should take a look at all the content. Um, you should definitely be doing expanders over tipping of molars in the back. Come on. If it's a kid, do an expander. It's the right thing to do. Make the palate better. Make the, the anatomy better. Make the airway better. It's a no-brainer. Why wouldn't you always do it? I mean, I would feel bad if I had a kid that needed expansion and I decided to cheat out and not spend the extra time and money. That's just, I would feel bad at night. I mean, I wouldn't be able to sleep well at night. I would never do that to a kid. All right. Thanks so much. Aloha, it's Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions here to tell you some exciting updates and our educational opportunities. First of all, you've asked, we've listened, you've said you wanted more ways to learn about phase one interceptive, and we've got it for you. So we have our traditional way that's always been available and I'm excited to tell you about it. First of all, we've always been all about having your ortho education your way. So for those of you from the United States, you will get this reference. Your ortho opportunity is now your way. And shoot, I'm about to get wet and that's about to be my way, so I better hurry up and tell you about it. Okay, number one is the way we've always had it. It's our regular phase one course. At the time of publication, it's $44 per CE unit. It's 13 CE units. You can get it at straightsmilesolutions.com. Very easy to find, very easy to take. You have an entire year to finish your CE credits, get your certificate, and start implementing, and we're here to help you. Straight Smile Solutions, check it out. Second way has always been available as well. We have our YouTube channel and it is free, free, free. It is not any money per C unit because there is no CE units because it's free. There are literally 
hundreds and hundreds of hours of CE opportunities without the CE units, without the ADD case, but you still get the education and it's free. Yes, you have to sit through some boring ads. Yes, that does help pay for my coffee. Thanks so much, I enjoyed it this morning. But the information is there. No, I cannot put it in a logical order. It's YouTube, so you're gonna have to sort through it. If you want free, that's how it is. And the third opportunity has just been launched this week. And this is with my team members, uh, the Wongs. They are amazing from Straight Teeth Naturally team. We collaborate with them. We've done some courses with them before. And now we are excited to announce our new updated on-demand course with them. So basically, essentially, their team liked what we taught for phase one education, thought it would help their doctors, and so they have taken our same course that had the CE, and they're now, for, now offering it in their learning management platform without CE. Exact same thing as the $44 per CE unit. However, it's a little bit less cost. The pricing is dynamic, so you're gonna have to talk to their team in terms of how the pricing works. And any questions you have about what's offered is offered through their team. This is fully through their team. It's my words, it's my course, but it's through their team. So if you have any questions about pricing, what it offers, reach out to the Straight Teeth Naturally team. Although as always, I'm here if you have orthodontic questions. If you buy the course, I'll be glad to answer any questions that come out. I am so excited to get to know y'all and I hope to see you soon. Check out our courses. Phase one education is the way that you need to learn in order to do any orthodontics. It is the foundation of orthodontics. And it doesn't matter if you wanna learn about fixed expanders, aligners, interproximal, sorry, <laughs> IPE, Invisalign expanders, traditional braces, for lots of other functional plants, we teach you everything from fix to removal. As long as it's not surgical, we will teach it to you. Hope to talk to you more soon. Take care. Aloha.